videotape this process? I never have. So no. should we should we put it up on YouTube tonight? Heck yeah. That'd be sweet. <laughs> there was a uh, Montana out. Yeah, we can get him out. Uh, the presidential Probably four. Work this farm it seems like farm, farm, or they have that farm over there to work. It, it really, at, 
from the bottom levels on up. Yeah. That has just <laughs> has permeated everything. <laughs> Hey, Smiley, come on now. A little different than the one I did last night, huh, Dad? <laughs> Just a little. <laughs> oh, I had some bad feet from some of the horses. Just a little mare that I had. She, she I have an odd size shoe on her, short but she could feet. actually go into a, 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 a double odd. She's tiny. Absolutely tiny. She had feet about this big, but she was about this big around. Giant. Short and fat. <laughs> oh my god, look at that. <laughs> the horse is holding his, his leg up. Quit, please. Damn. He doesn't have his music, Luke. I know. Yeah. <laughs> he has to test Luke each day. He makes me work for it. So the area, area, in, area inside there, that's not tissue, that's... No, nope, this, this is called the frog, and this actually acts as a pump to supply the rest of the foot with blood. Um, this outside, this is called the hoof wall, and there's no feeling in that. This area right here, you, if you look close, you can kind of see the like little finger-like lamina yeah. right through here. Right. Um, this connects the sole to the hoof wall and this whole area flexes. The whole foot in fact will flex. You can actually squeeze it like that. There's a huge artery that runs into the foot and when he presses down, when he steps, this pumps the blood out and then when he picks his foot up it acts like a vacuum and sucks blood back into the foot. The foot is really incredible. That frog is also uh like the shock absorber yep. for them. It's, it's, it's amazing. The frog is really, really cool. If they could duplicate that material. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's... Made, it would be... Uh, it's, that's not part of the frog. Mm -hmm. It's like rubber. It's really neat. So, so like you have very, it looks like you have very little tolerance to, yeah. to like... You could injure the frog for um, You have to frog. be careful. There, there's... You can't hurt them. I've accidentally cut him before. I take so much abuse. You think about like these hunter jumper horses or rodeo horses that are just getting pounded all the time. Yeah. And then you know you drive a nail wrong and you mess them up. It's pretty incredible. And what's the what's the weight of them compared to this horse? Um, he is. How much do you think he weighs, Scott? Eighteen. I think they're closer to two. Two thousand. So yeah. wow. he's literally almost twice as big as a normal yeah. horse I shoot. <laughs> That's what we yeah, you can just tell. You know, about yeah, so the normal the normal rodeo a rodeo style horse in this area weighs about nine hundred to a thousand pounds. Wow. And they're about this big and I have actually shoes from some horses I did last night that are way up there. So, this is Okay, this is a pretty average size shoe I put on a horse, and this is the shoe. <laughs> oh I put on these guys. my <laughs> goodness, that's amazing. This is an average nail I'll use on a regular saddle horse. This is Dick and Dan's nail. Dick and Dan, you gonna love it. Wow. <laughs> and Scott never lets me forget it either. <laughs> these guys have changed my attitude on draft horses. Thank <laughs> you. 